Behind this door is my new home. That's right, I am moving onto this bike. This is my new home, and with this bike, I'm going to cycle across Africa, 13,000 kilometers from Cairo to Cape Town. Welcome to Project Africa. Now, if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Flo, I'm 24 years old, I'm a third culture kid, I'm a law grad turned YouTuber, and I love making videos about my adventures and telling stories from around the world. Couple things about me, I'm super curious, I love learning how other people live, and I love trying new things. And this was my first bike ever. I remember my dad teaching me how to ride on this. I fell down, I got back up, I fell down again, I got back up, over and over, until I was able to ride unassisted for like 30 meters, and I was so proud of myself. As a kid, I dreamt of going on adventures, and a part of it came from books and TV. It sounds funny to say, but Felix the Rabbit, Sinbad the Seder, and Sissy the Adventurous Princess really inspired me and made my imagination run wild. As I grew older, I met real-life people who had real-life adventures, like this French couple who came to my school who had walked across Africa from south to north. It took them three years. Listening to them, I was amazed. And not just by what they did, but also simply by how excited they were talking about it. And then came the early YouTube days, when I discovered the OG travel vloggers like Louis Cole, Ben Brown, Jack and Finn, and I decided that one day I'm gonna go on a big adventure as well. Fast forward to August 2022, just a few months ago, when I bought my own bike for the first time. Because yeah, by the way, I am not a pro cyclist. I did lots of different sports growing up, but you know those people who ride their bikes to school or work every day? That wasn't me. I rode a bike maybe once a year in the summer, as a fun activity. So before embarking on a cross-continental trip, I thought maybe I should do a little taste session just to know if I actually enjoy spending that much time on a bike. And so with zero experience or preparation, I went on a 10-day cycling trip with my friend Adam. We cycled 616 kilometers from Paris to the Atlantic. It was tough, so many things went wrong. For starters, we were both completely clueless and couldn't have been less prepared if we tried. I had an accident before even leaving Paris and flew off my bike. Somehow Adam's chain, wheel and seat broke. The seat went in half like that and like it punctured my ass. We trusted Google Maps when we probably shouldn't have and I didn't know what to wear or how to keep warm properly. <sighs> It's gonna be a cold night, Adam doesn't have a sleeping bag. <laughs> I was learning how to camp properly because I'd never done that before and we ended up sleeping outside for 8 out of the 10 nights. So cold. This is where I slept. I had my first encounter with something that I would learn to hate. It's been non-stop headwind and I hate it. And there's also this other thing that I hated. Oh, from my handlebar bag. I'm currently pushing my bike up this hill. I'm so dead. The wind is so strong. <laughs> I'm going backwards, it feels like I'm going backwards. The lack of training didn't help, honestly. Plus my bike weighed over 40 kilos and my body was not used to pushing this much weight at all. But despite all these mistakes and obstacles, I absolutely loved it. I started to understand why other people travel by bike <laughs> as well. Riding across the forest, feels great. There's no one around, it's so nice and quiet. We got to see beautiful parts of France. We saw castles and cathedrals. There's a castle over there, it's so pretty. Rode through beautiful little villages and lots and lots lots of fields. These 10 days, I went back to our most basic human needs, finding food and shelter. I found mental clarity, no outside noise or opinions or stimuli. Traveling by bike slows everything down. I felt present and having so much time on the road alone, I was able to welcome, face and process old memories and emotions. You have time to think, you can listen to your thoughts, you can talk to yourself, you can hear the birds. It's very nice. And on a bike, you get to take the nicer road, something that you can't always do with a car. We stumbled upon gems that we could have never predicted. We just drove past this structure and I was like, wait, that looks like a circus. And it is. Actually, it isn't. It's a circus school. I didn't think that it was going to be open, but I just tried opening the door and it was unlocked. Like literally just on the side of the road. If I wasn't biking, we probably wouldn't even have seen it. What? Look at this. It's like all these trapeze and whatever. And of course, we met incredible people. Because we're doing something unusual, people were very curious and opened up to us. We met such kind people, from farmers who gave us free apples, to other cyclists who rode with us for a while. Some people even welcomed us into their homes. 
This is the first time that I've challenged myself like that, pushing myself this far physically and mentally for hours, for days. And finally, after 10 days and over 600 kilometers, we made it to the Atlantic Ocean. Our two legs cross from Paris to here, the Atlantic Ocean. I was so, so happy. You know, when I left, I had so many doubts. I didn't have it all figured out. And during the trip, so many things went wrong. But we learn, we figure things out. Things really do fall into place and I managed to reach my goal. It makes me more confident that I can do hard things. It doesn't get easier, but your body and mind get stronger. And I want to experience more of this on a whole new level in Africa. I lived in Senegal as a teenager and it's just a continent that I'm so fascinated by. I think there's a lot of misconceptions about it, but from what I've read and seen and heard, there are magnificent landscapes of all sorts, rich history to explore, and people from completely different cultures from one country to the next, and even within each country. And that's another thing I believe most people don't realize. Africa is huge and it's not accurately portrayed in typical maps. So those are some reasons I want to see it in the most unique way. I want to experience just a taste of the life of our nomadic ancestors. I want to reconnect with nature. Usually I spend 80% of my time indoors and I want to know what happens to me, what happens to my brain when I flip the script and spend 80% of my time outdoors and expose myself to such environments. <laughs> now I know that this is going to be really, really hard. This is not luxury travel. This is gonna be rugged, a lot of wild camping and struggle. I'm gonna push myself physically and mentally in ways that I've never before. And I also know that many things are gonna go wrong. But you know what, that's okay. Because I know that there are also so many good things awaiting me. Because I know that I'm also gonna learn so much and do incredible things and live the adventure of a lifetime. And I wouldn't wanna have it any other way. I'm in my 20s, I wanna experiment as much as possible in my life as well as my career. All right, my task now is to get this bike into this box somehow. All right, I'm at the airport. I didn't really get to film the whole packing process because it was so stressful. The pedals were completely stuck. My brother couldn't get it off, my dad couldn't get it off, and it was Christmas, so there was no bike shops open, so it was all a bit stressful, but we made it. We're at the airport now. Bye-bye, Europe. I'm so, so, so excited and I cannot wait to bring you all on this adventure with me. I'm committed to making high quality videos and posting as much as I can, but it's not gonna be easy because YouTube does not pay me enough to sustain myself. So I'm really going off of all my savings at the moment. So I really, really appreciate you watching this. You guys are making this possible for me and I hope that you love the videos and that you gain something from it. Now, the best way to support me is by watching my videos and sharing them with a friend and subscribing, turning your notifications on so that you know when I post a new video and I'm super grateful for that. Now, if you can and you have the means to do so, you can also support me further by subscribing to my Patreon. Over there, you'll find exclusive benefits and you can also get a signed personalized postcard from each of the countries that I'm visiting. And my videos will always be on YouTube for free, but this is just a little bonus for those who want to support me further and who can afford it. And if you happen to live between Egypt and South Africa or know someone who does or have visited one of those countries, please reach out as well. I would love to have your recommendations and advice. This is a very long trip. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to explore as much as possible and share these stories with you. So send me an email. My info is in the description. I cannot guarantee I'm going to be able to respond because I'm going to be cycling. <laughs> but I will read every single email that I receive and I'm really thankful. Also, if you're a brand or you know a brand or anyone who wants to sponsor the trip, email me because we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, thank you so, so, so much for watching, guys. I cannot wait. You can see it on the smile on my face. I'm very happy. I'm very excited to start this trip. Take care, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. I've arrived in Cairo, but my bags and my bike haven't. It's very, very surreal to be here and I've been crying. Are we surprised? I'm gonna cry a lot on this trip. I'm with Rob here. We met a traveler. We this have new friends now. New friends. <laughs> we went to middle school together in Saudi. Let's go to the opening museum.